it's been too long since I've done an update on this wonderful program that all creators should be using, in my opinion. At least this is called Shoost. And look at these beautiful Hollywood-like effects you can do. And they're extremely easy to do. I'll be walking you through the program and all features from the update, just general stuff. You'll be able to use it in no time. Shoosh is a program that allows you with three different layers, at least currently, there might be more in the future, but three layers to do really cool real-time lighting effects on the fly. You get some really good flex stuff. It kind of gives the vibes of what you would have in Hollywood, but in your own home, eh? Without all that effort. It is by someone called Murrow, and you are, oh, you can get on their fan box in Japanese, and cheaper is cheaper to get on fan box, or you get on their Patreon. Either option is good, Patreon will be in English, so if you want support go in English, go there. Patreon is a little cheaper just because the value of yen, but that is up to you. When you first open Shoost, you're going to notice that there's three different layers to work with. The first layer is going to have a color correction thing. You can just delete if you want it. I'm sure it'd be really useful for editing, but I always delete it. So layer one, you can put whatever you want. Maybe one of three layers, something like a logo, whatever you want. Layer two, generally you're going to put your model there. Generally you're going to need a color key, to color keying with chroma, or chroma key, whatever. You can do that. You can also do a spout capture. If you turn on, if you know what spout capture is, I can do a whole dedicated video on that. But just know you can do you can do transparent capture with spout. It works great. And then you also have your layer three. And generally we're gonna put your background. And once you go to effects, you have a ton of their options. We'll go for everything really quick. But first, this is how I generally have my settings. We I usually go to the glow effects because that one generally looks nice. Let's go, you know. Woo! It, it really is nice. And I Generally, have my friends around there. You can you can play with the settings, and then I'll have it on with. I can use some blur. The blurs here. There, there's so many settings. There's a ton of settings here, but they're all very straightforward. We also have flare settings. I didn't leave it alone, but a very important feature that you probably don't really notice on until you're thinking about it is uh, this camera feature. There's the shaky, and then there's the tracking. So let me turn both of those off. And you see, it's a little. Doesn't look feel as nice. So I generally will turn it on, have it zoom a little bit. Boop, boop. You can also have a shake like this. I've never used this, but hey, it's there. And there's pan fall speed. And my other thing down here is something turned up top. Let's go back to the top again and look at all these different effects. We let's turn this dust off. First effect we have here is a rim light. Rim light is super nice. You just kind of change. If you look at the top there, you can see it's putting a little rim around my hat. All sorts of really, really like tiny details. You can it just same sort of effects as like you're shooting with a camera. It's super nice. I generally don't use it too much, but it, it does look nice. And you can turn it on and off separate. There is again, we got another one for outline if you want like a the shadow this is good if you're going to have a little like on like a blackboard you want like it looks like there's light going towards you, you just just play these different settings there's lots of them you can make a medium make it stronger high ho low it's super 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 easy and we got opacity you just change that again i don't generally use one now this next one is good for karaoke's we got you know this yeah you're singing here do 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 He's have that it's super useful karaoke's and there's lots of different settings here you can move it you know whatever fits for you brightness it, it's you just for karaoke's i don't know when else you make it uh there is you can also just have the background only again still super useful for karaoke's so i'll use one when i eventually do karaoke there is weather effects which are awesome you have the rain which is really nice you can change the f like how much is going look, look at that it looks really good because it's just going behind you and in front of you. And I believe it also affects the lights. Uh, there is snow. The snow looks very, very nice. There is a smoke, which also again looks very, very nice. You can change the settings. You change it to like, I don't know, like red smoke. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's some little evil in here. Go, ooh, 
You can change smoke again. Tons of fun. Have fun of this program. You can do so much. You go over to Pearl Gold Fex, which is the third one up here. And you can change the rates of it. I generally like turning your rate up a bunch on these. But let's go for let's go to particle effects real quick. We got sparkle, which looks pretty nice. Like ah! <laughs> you got sparkles with different sparkles with crosses. Again, there's so many uses for these. You can use go use them in all your videos, or you can use it for streaming. It's a little more like just chatting. It would work for streaming. You got the animated sparkle again, super useful for videos. You can also use some short. Some of these don't really work for vertical formats. You got a heart. Again, really nice for they may make Valentine's Day thing. Yeah. We got an animated heart. Super again, super good, super good. Boca again, one of my favorite ones. I don't use it a ton just because it doesn't work really well for my short performance, but it's really useful. And we got the dust one. This is my favorite one. Just have on. Just adds a little bit of depth to it because you can see it'll go behind me. Or at least it looks like it does. It adds really good depth to it. It looks makes myself look nice. And we got Sakura, if you want some Sakura falling down, which doesn't really make sense on, actually most of these didn't make sense with this background music, but it's fine. And you got Confetti, and again, this is kind of similar to Sakura, but like, you know, Confetti. And of course you can, what is this? No, yeah, you can have, you can change the color of the Confetti, that's, I don't really suggest doing that, but sure. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you, you have the option, you don't have to use it. <clears throat> and we got, over here, we got some flashing. I'm not going to turn this the flashing speed on here very fast or leave it on long, but there's camera flash. We're turning off just in case people issues that. Uh, there, it, you can use it for stuff. Just be careful. You know, flashing lights are hard for people. And there is this new feature. This is a pretty brand new feature for Schust. And it kind of just, you can change your camera. I don't really get this feature at all. You can have it like change where the camera is with the audio and it goes for a different bunch of different cameras. I'm sure there's uses for this, but like, it's cool. I, I don't think I'll ever use this feature. <laughs> it's there. You can mess with it. Yeah, it's either 500 cameras. You can have it blend, mix. You can also have it. You can work, have it for a second, be for a minute. You can have it work off of like audio. You feed it in a microphone or, or your desktop audio, whatever you want. There's whatever you want to do. And that's all those basic features. Let's go ahead and turn on my dust dial link. Oop. There we go. Now, we haven't even touched the screen effects. These are really nice. Currently, again, we're on glow, but there's other effects below it for filters. Currently, I have none, as usual, I do. But there is TV effect. It's pretty cool. If you want retro feel, I can see this being really cool for some retro people. You want to be like, make it, get a good vibe. It's good. There's VHS, which is, is really good for spooky stuff. And then there is like a film filter. It gives it a little blue hue. Looks nice. I'm not sure when I'd use this, but y you know, if your type of person wants this, this effect, like feels like it's on analog film. Beautiful. It's there for you, but you don't have to use them. And within the modes of effects, there's glow, which is my favorite. There's a fusion, which it makes you like match the background, which is good for a lot of stuff. You no, know, like you change your exposure, you match the background. There's normal, which I don't ever use normal. <laughs> I don't ever use normal. <laughs> Maybe you want to use normal if you want to use one of these other effects. I don't know. I don't ever use normal. And you can just, you know, turn it off, which is, this is, this is effectively what it looked like without juiced doing anything except for dust in front of it. So let's go back to, uh, do do glow. And with glow, you see, you can do all all sorts of stuff. And you see how it's going around? Like it's, it's really calculating all of the stuff in my model and like you can see it like wrap around. It's really nice. It gives you very expensive lighting, but in real time, it's easy. While there are three different ways that you can capture Shoost into OBS, most people are going to do the game capture. The two ways are Spout and NDI. NDI is kind of obsolete. You wouldn't do that. I will eventually do a dedicated Spout video, including Shoost, but we have no time for that. So go ahead and click game capture. Do tell me if you want to see a Spout video. Let me know in the comments. And go to Shoost, type it, whatever you call, for video. Now we're going to want to do 
capture a specific window. You're going to want to combine shoes, whatever version you have currently for this video it is 8.2. And ba bam, there we go. Now you're also going to want to uh, check cursor capture. And that's all. You could use window capture. Game capture is better. Game capture is better. Use game capture. And just click OK. That's all you got to do. And there you go. You're all ready to go use Shoost in OBS. And you're good to go. Go just put your other stuff in OBS on top of it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It was more of an overview of doing all the stuff, but I hope it helps out. Hope you go ahead and check out Shoes. It's just, you know, like five bucks a month. I enjoy it a lot. Do let me know if you want more tutorials like this and let me know if you want more in depth on Shoes, which I could do. It would just be a dedicated video. I didn't want to make this video like 30 minutes long. Huh? I'll see you guys around later.